So what we're going to do is turn on our sander because otherwise we're not going to move. Guaranteed. All right. So this, when you click on this or hover over it in the in train sim, it says reverser. In the United States, that is not a reverser. That is a Johnson bar. A Johnson bar is a control lever on a steam locomotive used to control the timing of the admission of steam into the uh, train's cylinder or the piston. Okay, pushing that piston, that that uh, plunger back and forth. It controls the timing and the amount of. Uh, it, it controls the timing of the admission of steam. So, if we put the the Johnson bar all the way back. You know, we would think of that as reverse, right? Well, what we're really doing is telling the train we want you to admit steam to the rear cylinder, the valve to admit steam to the rear part of the of the piston first, so it'll start driving the train backward. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 100% forward on our Johnson bar. Now you say, oh, I know that. I've seen all kinds of videos. They always tell me start off with 100% and 100%. No, that's not right. So what the Johnson bar is doing is it's telling the valve, not the piston, not the cylinder. What it's doing is telling the valve. That's the part that sits right here. Okay? It's telling it when the piston or that plunger is at a certain percentage of its stroke. I want you to admit steam in. All right? So think of it as pedaling a bicycle. You're pedaling a 10-speed bicycle. If you start off in, like, high gear and you know how hard it is, and then you get to a hill and you've got it in high gear. It's, it's kind of like that, but not really. And I've heard that analogy, and it's not really like that. What we're doing is telling it, uh, what, we're, what we're doing is trying to make it work efficiently. Okay, so right now, we have told the, the valve, we want you to give us 100% of the stroke, give it 100% of the steam. When the piston is all the way back, admit steam in there, and then push against it, expand, and when it gets 100% of the way there, I want you to exhaust and put steam at the other end. Okay, so we're getting 100% of the stroke when we have our Johnson bar full forward. As we move along, and the train picks up speed, we no longer need to, and if, you, if you've messed with anything physical in your life, you should know this, once you get it rolling, it doesn't need as much energy to keep going. So we can short, okay, or uh, cut off the steam a little bit, okay? So we're going to set the point of the steam cutoff, and we want it the most efficient, especially when we're running at high speed, we're going to have 10% on the reverser, okay? That's the Johnson bar. When we're talking about an American locomotive, we're going to be at about 10%, and then we're going to just control the steam going in and out, all right? Let's go back into the cab. So we have our Johnson bar full forward. We have our sander on. So let's remove let's uh, remove the train brake. All right. And we see the train brake is now released and we're going to turn on the steam a little at a time. Let's see if we've got any temperature coming up. Okay, we got steam building. We can give it 100% on the regulator. And we're going to Turn on the bell, headlight, and two blasts of the horn, and we're going to bring our reverser down to 50%. Okay? Now I'm not touching the regulator. That's the amount of steam coming out of the steam dome up there. Okay? We're not touching that for now. We want to get this thing up and running. And now, see, our cylinder cocks are still open. We're going to close those, and we'll start to see pressure build back up in the boiler when our when our cylinder cocks are closed. Hear how fast that thing's going? We're already up to 35 miles an hour. Can you believe that in a steam engine? Hard to believe, isn't it? All I'm doing, I'm gonna turn our bell off. We're already breaking the speed limit. We're up to 40 miles an hour already. From nothing. You didn't see a slow start, nothing. And guess what? Watch our boiler pressure. It's continuing to build, and I have the reverser in So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the regulator down a little. I'm going to come down to 84%, okay? And look, we're continuing to speed up. But our boiler pressure is pretty well maintaining, isn't it? So if we're concerned, we let's come down to 77%, all right? 
We are cruising. Right? So now we have auto firemen on, right? So we're not worried about the firebox or water right now. I just want you to worry about how we're gonna do this. See, our steam usage rate is going up. So what we're gonna have to do is we gotta turn our, we're gonna turn our regulator down so we can build up some steam in the boiler. So we're gonna be, let's set it 70% and let it build for a little bit. Cause we got, well, no, you know what? I'm gonna bring it to 50 and we're just gonna let it build. Let some pressure build up. Oh, we might have an increase in grade here. So what we're gonna do is tell it, hey, give us more stroke on that piston. Okay. See, now we're building speed again, and all I did was touch, go from 21 to 34. Look at that, and we are still just cranking away. Obviously, we don't want to go this fast. So, but my point is, you really don't need to balance anything. There's nothing like that, but you watch. We're keeping a steady boiler pressure, aren't we? I'm not touching anything. We're keeping a steady boiler pressure. It's not a balancing game. It's nothing like that. We are literally needing to keep in mind our control of our steam with the regulator, what you think of as the throttle. We're not really calling it a throttle for a steam engine because that's not really our throttle. That's our steam pressure that we have up in that steam dome and how much is going up into that pipe, right? So we're only taking, well, let's knock it down to 45 and then we'll bring our, we're gonna bring our Johnson bar back. Look at that, zero on the Johnson bar and we'll slow down and it takes a long time to slow a steam engine, okay? But we're finally getting there. So, and if you see that your boiler pressure's going up, nothing to worry about right now. it's staying good. All I did was turn the regulator up and it, it halted the grow, the uh, climbing of that boiler pressure, didn't it? But see, that's what we're doing is I'm letting all the steam out, but I'm not, I'm telling it, hey, don't use any of the, uh, don't, don't, you don't really need to do anything but let steam out. If I really want to have an issue, I just hit C and open that uh, cylinder cock and let some more steam out and I'll slow down even more. Look at that. Look at that. All I did was open a valve and let steam out of the cylinder, right? And look at our boiler pressure. Look at it. See? We're doing well. We're still at 204. Close our... And we're going to hit our Johnson bar again. We'll get up to 25%. We need to pick up a little speed. Give me a little speed there. Look at that. 37% on the Johnson bar. 73%. We're on an uphill grade. Look at that, 1.8% grade, almost 2% grade, and we're putting on speed. The steam engine isn't hard to drive, I promise you. Uh, I hope that this video has helped you, and uh, if it has, please give it a like, follow us on YouTube, follow us on our Twitter page so you know when we're going to be streaming, and we'll be streaming on Dead Game Time on Twitch. Most nights, you can catch us driving trains. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this and you've learned how to drive a steam engine. Bye-bye.